Continuing our team coverage now ahead of the nor'easter, the expected rain and wind is putting a damper on some events this weekend. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer Lee is live in West Hartford where they still have a pretty tough decision to make there. Jennifer? Yes, they sure do, Denise, and a lot of effort has poured into the Halloween event here at Blueback Square and other fall festivities that are happening around the state. And with the weather looking terrible for Saturday, organizers are having to make these tough last minute calls. The thrill, the adrenaline rush. There are many reasons to love this spooky time of year. We're going to do the witch hunting stuff and go see the Hocus Pocus house and all that. But a coastal storm is brewing trouble. Some events on Saturday are already rescheduled. Seamers Trunk or Treat is now on Sunday, and Gears Haunted Trail in Griswold moved their event to Halloween night. We always keep an eye on the forecast. Chris Shav, Sunny's Place in Summers, says if Saturday is a washout, their hayride of horror will be canceled. But families can still come ride the carousel, play laser tag, or a virtual reality game called Zombite. We're very dependent on weather, so we're used to, um, you know, little mishaps with the weather here and there, and it happens, and you do the best you can with it. And rain or shine, the Apple Festival in Salem and the Trick or Treat Spooktacular in Southbury will still go on. And this mom hopes it'll be a green light for the Halloween fun planned at Blueback Square this weekend. She's two years old. She's a diva, <laughs> so she'll be fun, having fun. I'll dress her up like a little kitty. That's my plan. Have her as a cat. A decision will be coming down for Blueback Square's Halloween stroll and trunk or treat tomorrow. We will be posting that information on our Channel 3 app. And if you'd like to find other events that have either been rescheduled or canceled altogether, you can find that information also on our Channel 3 app. Reporting live in West Hartford, Jennifer Lee, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.